There's no question that red light is having a very positive impact on our health. And there's an author um, I was actually on his podcast a couple years ago. It's, the podcast is called The Energy Blueprint, and the, the practitioner's name is Ari, A-R-I, Witten, W-H-I-T-T-E-N. Ari, some of you have heard of him. And Ari, uh, if you go on Amazon, he wrote a really nice book on red light therapy, not on the eyes, but just in general. And I think that if you're skeptical about it or you want to learn more about it, I would do some Google search. I would, you know, my, I've done a couple of podcasts on it. And, you know, there are a couple of people out there that they devote their whole podcasts to red light and research. Now, with the eyes, there isn't much out there on red light because the machines, the devices that they sell are too bright for the eyes. So this is an important point. One of the trauma effects that we go into is if we're light sensitive. And in our light sensitivity, we shut down. We have a very strong blink reflex. And so you're triggering trauma in the eyes, trying to look at a bright light box. You can't do it. In fact, the manufacturers will say, don't look at the light, let's cover the eyes. With these glasses, the reason why I made them is because the man who did the study, he sells glasses in red light glasses. It's in London. Difficult to get them shipped here. You can try. It's called iPower UK. E-Y-E. P-O-W-E-R UK. And maybe they will. And if they do, great. But I decided, because I had been working with color and light therapy, and this segues into our color therapy where we work with all the colors. But what I did was I went to my um, laboratory and I began experimenting with the, with the color and getting the tint exactly right. And then I was doing research based on the camera that I have and some other ways that I research. And this is the end product. Now, the thing about these is you get to control the light brightness. I have some elderly people who can't even look out the window. Like looking out the window there would be too bright for them. So they can sit in their bedroom with the shades down and there's ambient light in the room. Any light is going to activate the red to go into your eyes, whether it's bright light or dim light. You know, if you can handle the bright light, you want to go outside and do it, great. If you're looking for the, the most therapeutic value, the morning is the time when you want to treat yourself. And I would say 10 minutes is a good window. And you can also do it, like I have these IT folks who work on computers all day. They love doing it in the afternoon and in the evening. Because again, it's a mitochondria push. You're pushing the mitochondria to work better, which reduces oxidative stress, inflammation, anywhere in the eye. And you're getting it systemically because I remember I said, with all the blood vessels in the eye that the blood travels to the body, it takes about 40 minutes, you're getting that red light throughout the entire body, not just in the eyes. No, no, it's no prescription at all. In fact, you don't want to use a prescription. There are other red light devices out there. I, I would say that you could, again, do some research and see, I saw something that was an eye mask that was red. It was like a dermatologist, and he said that that also works on the eyes. So part of this is educating you and putting red light on your radar screen. And then if you want to go further, the methylene blue is kind of amps up the red light. You don't have to do the methylene blue. Uh, but it's something that if you're really intrigued by it, you can learn about it and just see what what it is. Another term for this red light is called photo, P-H-O-T-O, bio, B-I-O, modulation. So that's another term synonymous to red light, which is called photobiomodulation. And my patients who use it, they've had macular degeneration, they've had cataracts, they've had glaucoma, they've had dry eye, they just want to be proactive, and they really feel that red light is a contributor. It takes time though. It's not, it's not a quick fix. It's not like a bottle, you know, that's in a bottle and okay, I take it today and tomorrow I see changes. So I want to warn you about that. Disclaimer. And I sell them. Yeah, I did. I brought, I think, four pairs so you can fight over them. But if you want them, um, just email me exchange. Yeah. Okay. You know, again, um, not all change is bad you know it's just it's who knows yeah you know that's the that's that's the million dollar question right